It's the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. It's time for the show. Pow. Aloha, it's that Frankie boy here, and welcome to the Frank Show. Now we have some lovely. PlayStation VR news for you. First up, Rec Room finally has smooth movement. Now, you can really only use this in the main area of Rec Room, and then you can kind of use it if you'd like in custom rooms, but if people make awesome maps, build cool custom rooms, open that up, you have an awesome team deathmatch, a capture the flag shooter with full locomotion that you can just ha have a ball with. So if you guys have not checked out Rec Room lately, they got some new quests, and a full locomotion is definitely worth a peek. Now this is on all systems, so don't you worry. All you gotta do is hold your move button, point, and you're grooving. Play, and it should be under uh, walking. It's right on the... The, okay. the the right side. Put it on whatever hand you want it on. There you go. Hell yeah! Oh, now yeah. I, you walking? <laughs> I'm walking in the <laughs> That's dope, right? <laughs> that is dope. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. It's way better. Hell yeah! Oh yeah! I feel like a snake sliding through this game. Now, people are probably wondering, hey, Frankie, where's the American Dream review? And you know what? I played a little American Dream, and it's not a bad game. It's a fun experience, but it, it still needs a little work. Uh, the games are very jumpy, but I, I definitely love shooting, and I like the reload mechanic. You hit a button, shoots out some cartridges, you slow down time, you pop them in there. But uh, on the whole, I don't know if you're going to want to buy it at full price right now. Now, it's a beautiful game. It's lovely done. The story is goofy. The game I mean, a gunplay is fun, but it kind of grows old after a little while. Uh, maybe if you're from a different country, you might it might hit you a little bit different. But being American, it's just kind of like it's stereotypes we hear every single day all the time. But presented in a game form, which is goofy. But at a certain point, you're just like. <laughs> Uh, but, but other than that, the, 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 the gameplay is solid-ish. Like I said, the guns jump around a little bit, and it, it's easy to lose tracking. But the, the game visually is a very pretty game. The audio is very nice. I like the little voiceovers, the kind of roller coaster feel to it. Uh, so if, you, if you're just desperate for a new arcade shooter, we get the, the reload mechanic is what sells me on it. I would play it all day just for that reload mechanic. It's fun to slow down time and grab the things, but it's a little off, too, so it's not perfect, but, it, but it's still a lot of fun but but uh we may have a full review of american dream we may not uh, we'll see in the near future but i would say safely maybe wait for a sale i'll give it like a uh, b minus eh, it's not too bad price is kind of bringing that score down and and they need a little work on it and uh, i think it's like two hours long or so which isn't too too much and the replayability will be like hey buddy check out this game it's pretty goofy all right now we also got a new game announced well not announced but a new trailer for time carnage which looks yeah it looks all right i guess uh you're shooting dinosaurs wave shootery they, the visuals don't look too amazing and we also have arc park coming out next week and this time carnage comes out in april so i mean unless arc park is just a complete stinker they and, and, i mean yeah, that, that that thunder of the dinosaur wave shooter is gonna maybe be stolen now i don't know you guys it could be the most amazing game we ever play uh, we'll find out and when we get there now all now this thing now next up this is pretty cool so uh you guys like moss i like moss everybody's liking moss i love Bit little big planet i hope a lot of you like little big planet well one headset user i'm assuming went so far as to start recreating moss in little big planet it's right behind me you guys and it's awesome so if you guys do any kind of little big planet stuff reach out to this dude i, I it's on twitter it's on my twitter Ch check out my twitter also you guys if you're wondering why you'd ever want to follow frank on twitter all it is is playstation vr news i don't really tweet any kind of bs i don't really tweet that much video stuff i retweet all the news so if you want to keep me up to date other than just in the videos if you like that kind of stuff that's the reason you'd ever want to follow me on twitter or you can ask me questions and i respond to you much more often because it's like right in my pocket all the time every single day youtube comments are working they're getting better but it's still not completely there now if you're a collector of physical playstation vr games limited releases it's gonna be releasing pixel gear i think on march 21st i don't know how many copies they do they never do it too many so if you want to gobble that up definitely check that one out it's coming around the corner now ah uh, finally before we leave skyrim vr now we all love it and the pc users are finally getting their hands on it 
it uh, in uh, just a few weeks. But uh, with its announcement and going on Steam within 24 hours, it reached into the top 10 games on Steam. So uh, that's saying something. That's showing the people wanted this game. They know that it's going to be an awesome game. And, and a VR is I mean, killing it from these big studios. I mean, come on. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's nice to hear. I know that that probably may not mean so much to you guys. You're like, Frankie, why do you care about telling us that about a VR game for Steam? But what it means is that other developers will be like, oh, wow, they got they got, they got, they got, they got in the top 10 spot within 24 hours. We're going to have to make ourselves a VR game so we can do that as well, which, which is I'm hoping what will happen. You know what I mean? Like bigger companies will be like, oh, wow, it works. They can do it. So maybe that little big, big little wins like this are good for us as, as PSVR and VR units. Uh, just in general, you guys. Nah. It might do so. Finally, if you're in Europe, I believe it's just Europe right now and in the market for a new phone, uh, you could be checking out this new Sony phone. Now, if you don't have a PlayStation VR or a PlayStation 4, uh, pre-ordering this phone gets you a PS4. If you already got PS4, it gets you a PSVR, uh, which is a pretty good deal because a lot of people like phones, a lot of people like PlayStation 4s, and a lot of people like PlayStation VRs or want a PlayStation VR. So uh, with this promotion, we could see a whole bunch more headsets enter the community, which always makes me smile now uh, that's a bit it for the news today i hope you have a lovely afternoon evening morning whatever time it is wherever part of the world you're in i hope you're doing swell thank you for coming through hit that thumbs up if you'd like to uh, i mean it only helps us get higher up in the rankings more people might see the video so maybe that's a good thing i don't know i don't know if you guys want to do it it doesn't matter to me but tons of people don't do it but do you want to be a sheep I'm just, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But more importantly, if you haven't seen one of Frankie's videos before and you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then you know what? Uh, oh, wait, that's not my spiel. My spiel is, and if you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR and you don't mind this ugly mug, friggin' subscribe. I mean, come on. Nah. Just watch this. It's the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, Frank Show. It's time for the show. Bye.